Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at a real world use case for optic counting. So we can both combine optic detection and also optic tracking. And in this video here, we're going to create a project around a production line. So we're going to have a bunch of tin cans basically running in a production line. And then we can go in and count how many cans are actually like passing a specific line or a region. So let's just jump straight into it and see how we can apply this optic counting into a production line system. So system strains are also leaks documentation. If you go inside the new solutions, we have a bunch of different optic counting systems and so on, but we also have all the other real world use cases and projects over to the left. You can copy paste the code snippets and use them directly in your own projects and applications. So we've already done a couple of videos with optic counting, how you can just set it up and so on, but also how we can do class-wise optic counting with Autolytics, both with the pre-trained models, but also your own custom trained models. Definitely go in and check out those videos. In this video here, we're basically just going to jump straight into it and see how we can use it in a production setting for real world AI and computer vision. So if we go a bit further down in the documentation, we can both see we can do object counting in a region, count in a polygon zone, line counting, and also just specific classes. We already have videos covering that, but we can basically just specify the different line points or the polygon zone points that we want to use in our counting system. So right now, let's just define the line points here and then we can go in and check if it's actually like passing that specific line and then we're just going to count it based on that. So we have a bunch of different arguments for optic counter and also our optic tracking model. You can specify which of the optic tracking models you want to use, the confidence score and so on, and also all the different configurations for the optic counter. So that could be like track colors if you want to draw the track. So basically just tracking all the individual bounding boxes and tracks over a number of frames. So we basically just have this path running behind it. Basically just take the center of each individual track or object, and then we just store that on a list and visualize it for every frame. So we have this nice trajectory after our objects. So we can specify all these different things here. Let's just jump straight into it and see how we can do it. So I'm going to copy paste this one here. We're going to open up a code editor. I'm just going to paste the code. So these are the videos that we're going to pass it through. So we have this tin cans basically running in a production line. So we want to count how many tin cans are passing a specific line. Right now they're just placing like this top part on top of the can, but we also have another video where it's basically just at the end of the production line finishing off. So here we can count how many cans are actually coming through in our production line. This can pretty much be applied to whatever setting that you have out there, an arbitrary object. You just need to train your own custom models on top of that. Up here at the top, we can see we have this tin packages PT. So we already had a data set, train a custom v 8 model on these tin cans. We have tons of videos covering how you can set up your whole data set, whole training pipeline, train your own custom models, export and use it in our own applications and projects. So definitely check those videos out. So right now we just need to go in and specify all the different things here. So I just have a folder with the videos. So we have can one. There we go. And we can specify the model that we want to use. And it is just the tin packages dot pt. There we go. That's pretty much good to go. We can then go in and define the line points depending on the image resolution, but we can always go in and fine tune that. Right now we have everything. We can just run it. So we're basically just going to set up our optic counter with all the different arguments that we set in the start and so in documentation. Then we just track our optics over time with our optic detection model on our custom data or our custom classes. We throw in our image and our tracks into the counting and it's going to take care of that. It's basically just going to do tracking, detect if it's passing a region or passing a line and then incrementing the values based on that. So that's pretty much everything to it. We can now open up a new terminal and run the program. I'm going to activate my conda environment and we can just run this Python script can counting system.py. Let's run it and see if we can open up the video stream. So line count initiated. We can see the line here at the top. So this is not the correct line. So we should basically just have a vertical line here going through the whole image at the end. So it really depends on the image resolution that you're throwing into the model. So right now we can see the track runs. We draw the trajectories for each one of the packages and so on. So right now we basically just need to have a vertical line instead. So that's what we're going to change up here. So right now we're going to change the first line here. Let's have that at the end. So this is the X coordinate. So set that to 800. And the line here, let's set that to zero because we want to have a vertical line. And then depending on the image resolution here for the max one, we want to have the second coordinate. 
So let's just try to see if it's a HD frame. So right now we just have an X coordinate should be in the exact same spot because we have the X values here on the horizontal line and then the vertical line is our Y values. So we need our X coordinates to be at the same point and then we just need to have a vertical line going from zero to our image boundary. So our max Y value. So let's check if this one works here or we can go in and fine tune it even further. So right now we can still see that our image resolution is not enough, but we have a good enough line here. We can probably just have it later in the image frame as well, but this is not a too bad start. So let's just move it a bit here. And right now we need significantly more for this one. So let's just go with 1500. So it's just basically just going to cut it. We can also go to 1500 here in the X direction and we should probably be good to go now. There we go, now we can see we have our line here at the end of the production line after we have the place the top of the can here on our package. There we go, now it's crossing the line. We can see package out, one, two, three, four, and it's also saving the video stream so you can always open it up later on, five and six. And if it's going in the opposite direction, it's basically just going to count it in. But right now we're counting how many cans are actually going out of our production line. So to test that out on the second video here, this is how easy it is to have the system of running. You just need to fine tune these points a bit. You can use the regions. You just need to specify a couple more points for the regions, but this is very easy to have up and running with Ultralytics. So now I'm just changing the can to video. So this is the second one, and now we're just having it at the end of the production line. Again, you can always move the line around one, and now we're going to have the second one in a second, and we have the tracks here, so all the trajectories, behind our objects. So these are just packages or these tin cans. So we now have two, three. So this is very useful in a production line setup. Doesn't really matter what application you're trying to, to solve or the production line that you have. You can always just have this tracking system on top of it and it's really easy to go in and create a counting system on top of it. Then you can place them in boxes, do counting on top of that. So this is a really nice system for visual inspection in a production line setting. Definitely go and check it out. You saw how easy it is. We just need a custom training model, set it up with Ultralytics, just a few lines of code, specify the regions or the line, and you're good to go. Go ahead and check it out, and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.